Hey everyone, Instromer here, and welcome to Duck Life Space. Space, space. Here we go, create your duck. We gotta go with the good old yellow duck named Leonard. I'll tell you the story of Leonard once we get into the game. Wow, I have a crowd. I am the world champion. Oh no, aliens are approaching through a wormhole. He looks so weird, so funky. Look at all these dudes though, they're cute. He pushes the button, he steals the crown. How dare he? I earned this crown, dang it. You're not a winner with a crown, you're just a thief. Running training. We get a flip gravity. <laughs> it's so cute, I love the song. Uh, just with Leonard being so cute, there's the little duck just hopping along. <laughs> It's almost like fits the beat of his pace of walking. Let's do some swimming here. I guess we can get up to level 20 on Earth, I think is how this game works. We're in a bubble. I'm trapped in a bubble submarine. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I don't like the momentum based. Oh. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, it's too fast, too fast, too fast. It's the bubble's getting smaller. Oh, wait, my question is, how am I swimming inside of a bubble? How's that even possible? This sounds like some clown or circus music. Guess we gotta pick up the seeds and it keeps boosting us through the sky to space. So the story of Leonard is the class above me in the high school. One of the things on their senior prank, they put a duck in the school. They went out and bought a duck for senior prank. So we get to school and there's just a duck in a classroom. Like, what the heck? And so what we did is we named him Leonard and he became the class pet for the day, and then one of the classmates took him home and lived happily ever after. We had a class pet for one day, and it was Leonard the Duck. It was very cute. How can you not love this game? <laughs> I think the bubble, it's somewhat predictable, not when it does stuff like that, but when it bounces off the screen, that's predictable. So you could start counteracting it before it even bounces off. Sometimes it just randomly changes directions though, and that's what really throws you off. Whoa. We're getting a little bit close to the wall there. Go down, go down. I can't go down any faster. It's just momentum falling. It's, oh shoot, oh shoot, we're done. <laughs> we. It's a very chill song. I like that part of the song. Don't let your little beak touch the bubble or else you'll pop it. So this is completely different from Duck Life 3 because there's a bunch of games. Each planet has a different mini game for all of the different things. This is not the best mini game ever, but it's fine. It's fine. We will get through it soon enough. There will be another mini game for flying. So I found out just today that Duck Life 1 through 3 is in a bundle pack on Steam and I guess remastered from the sounds of it. And then also Duck Life Space is on Steam and some other Duck Life games are on Steam. So if you don't want to play them through a browser, you can buy them. They are pretty dang cheap. When you buy the game on Steam, you don't have ads interrupting your game. We're heading to space, Leonard. My man, look at this, look at him go. He is going, we are so high up, like the sky is darkening. That's how high up in space we are. Can we fly to the moon? Is that possible in this training? 
We don't even need to do the tournaments on Earth. We can just fly to the moon and do those tournaments. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's space gravity. You can see the moon there. When you were falling down, if there was a seat like right there, there's a seed right there, but because it's off the screen, you can't just hit it and keep on going. It's just like, nah, you're off the screen, you're done. We are level 20 in flying, we're level 10 in the other ones. I think it's time for a little race. I'll give you my ticket to the tourney if you beat me. As if that will happen. She looks just like me. Is that Amelia Earhart? Uh, in duck form, that is. Oh man, I'm better at flying. Better all the way. It's a nice hat though. Woohoo, I won the race. This background music just for the area. It's very, a little bit suspenseful in a way. It's just, what, what's gonna happen? I don't know. I am one with the bubble. I go with the bubble, not against it. And then, and only then, will you win at swimming in a bubble, which is actually air, which means there's no water in here, which means it's actually impossible to swim inside of a bubble, but you can breathe inside of a bubble. This is kind of turning screensavers into a game, if you think about it. I love the snow in the background. <laughs> If you guys ever watched a Jacksepticeye's video on Duck Life, his Duck Life space, those two episodes he did were so great with the song of people. Song of people, song of people, this is song of people. <laughs> Go to Ivan store and ask for Sven. He has the good vodka. He is my friend. <laughs> it's such a funny song. Then Robin, his editor, made a song for behind it and then mixed up the vocals. And oh man, it's so good. I am a uh, duck. Came from egg. <laughs> you know, how funny does it look? A duck just hopping upside down and also the snow falling up. Yeah, that's a sentence. Da, 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 potato, da, 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 da. I wish I could race the snooze a lot. Guess we gotta do the tourney. <laughs> we are the laughing letters. <laughs> ah, yeah, he's just a laughing letter. <laughs> Dude, we're making up our own sayings now. Dude, Leonard's so much better than all of them. Look at, what are they wearing? He's ready to go for a swim. He's ready. This dude, though, he needs a shave. Part two of the tournament. Three, two, one. Fly away. Follow the arrows. Right this way. Right this way. Get wrecked, alien weirdo. In a pot. We got a Jedi master. And a squid. And a robot. A robot bird. R robot ro robo duck his little feet going do 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 hop 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 oh yeah we never bought any more energy we're chasing down our crown yay we gotta go on the rocket ship blast off boo to the moon the quest for the moon moon quest you know that Yogg's Cast song? It's a pretty great song. Very catchy. The moon's made of cheese. That's why it's yellow. <laughs> Running two, swimming two, flying two, and the first of climbing. Let's get our climb on. Because we haven't done any of this. Wait, how do we do this? Oh. Yeah, climb up there, little Leonard. We gotta not get hit by them asteroids and meteors. Gotta go fast. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. How did we not get hit by that one. Oh geez. Keep on a going. Keep on climbing. This is a very nice song. It's just nice and calm. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot. There's, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's so many things getting fired at me. Is this the start of, uh, what movie is it? There's a movie where the start is, it's, uh, Ad Astra, right? It, it, it's Ad Astra where they start by repairing the space elevator uh, uh, radio tower thing. Oh my gosh, we made it a heck of a long way. It's almost 700. How many levels? Eight levels. How can you not be happy playing this game? It's great. I don't know 
where space falls into the line. Space might be six. We're spinning around and shooting Leonard off of these platforms. Huh. Interesting. Gotta have some good coordination. Okay, <laughs> I obviously do not have that said coordination. <laughs> and pew! And pew! Fire! And... Fire! Boop! Oh, I missed. It must be very disorienting when you smack your head into something and then instantly you're back right side up. Bye-bye, birdie. We will never see you ever again because you're getting launched out into the oblivion of space where no one can save you ever again. You're just gonna get sucked into a black hole and fly halfway across the galaxy and maybe beat Chewbacca and Han Solo doing some sort of craziness out in space and something, fighting, smuggling something and making the... Honestly, that wouldn't be a bad trade-off. You'd never see Earth ever again, except if you bought a Millennium Falcon or something, You're a ship of your own. Star Wars universe is pretty cool and to live in. You'd be a Jedi. Lightsabers, man. Capes. You'd wear a cape. That's worth it right there. Let's do some swimming. So the swimming, you have to- Okay, throwing doubles at me already. First try, what the heck. So you gotta click the boxes out of the way. Instead of you- trying to dodge the things, you're making the things dodge you. No doubles, very, very easy. You just keep on clicking. Just a quick side note, why I didn't play Duck Life 4 is one, because they've changed it completely since I knew about the game. Like, it looks completely different. The songs are different. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of doubles in here. But also, some of the websites, it didn't even work. Like, you couldn't even do the training. The controls were all messed up. Get the hold. You gotta stay in the middle of the treadmill here. Not get hit by the trash compactor spikes. See, I told you this was secretly Star Wars. Potato, 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 to, potato, 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 potato. Treadmill starts speeding up a lot. Your one jump also goes a lot farther. You might actually hit the one in front of you because you held space or clicked too long. Oh my gosh, if you just spam it. This is it, this is it. This is the one, this is a good one. Here we freaking go, oh my gosh. It keeps changing, uh, it's just a blur. Letters just a blur on my screen. It's on both the left and the right side of the screen in my poor 60 FPS eyeballs. Oh, little letter go. He's so cute. He, he's got his little wings out this time. They fixed that from the older games. Now it actually looks like he's climbing up with something. Not just his beak and his feet shoved into the side of a cliff. little downy fluff is getting singed by the fire coming off the back of these things. Oh, jeez, these are close ones. The higher up you climb, the more meteors come and the faster they come. Oh my gosh. Sometimes you just gotta keep going. Sometimes you just can't stop unless it, it stops you, of course. <laughs> bye bye. You don't even have to do the double click. We're gonna race silver robot dude here in a space suit. That legendary Leonard. Hey, there's Nyan Cat. Hoppity, hoppity, hoppity. Oh, dude, the Nyan Cat one should have the rainbows coming out the back when it's flying. Ta-da, we win. I forgot about this in this game. We have a boost. Boost! Just ensure that win right there. We won the race! Getting on the rocket ship from the moon and heading off to... Is it Mars next? I think so. Look at that. We're on Mars. 
the red planet. This game is a lot longer than the other ones. I think I'm gonna call this episode here. If we go to the rocket ship here, we've only done Earth and the moon. And there's Mars, Terra, Freeze, and Pyro. That means we've only done a third of the game and a third of the game took an hour. It was a nice time with Leonard here. It was very cute, Duck. The music is so great. Duck life, man, there's something about it. It's very cute. If you like this one, share with a friend, and if you want to see more like this, hit subscribe. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.